today we are going to see about clipboard in pega so you can click on this icon clipboard you need to have some associated roles and privileges to be able to access this debugging tool clipboard basically clipboard is part of the server so in some of the interview questions they ask is clipboard a client side memory snapshot or a server side memory snapshot clipboard is basically on the server side whatever memory that is occupied by the clipboard pages that is occupied from the jvm machine on the server side only so as you can see here this is called as thread each tab in designer studio is a thread each portal is a thread each case you launch in a portal comes under different thread context so if you execute any open any activity or data transform rules go to actions and run then it will run under the standard thread generally the thread name and the tab name in the designer studio are same so these all are the different pages so py work page is the page which generally contains the work object data instance of the case type work object is the instance of the case type it contains all the work object data case metadata and any embedded pages you can explain this and you can see the embedded pages py work page has the current case data if you are in a current case thread and py work cover contains the parent case say assume that you have currently assigning a child case and some parent case has spawned the child case then in such case that is the parent case uh, data you can access in py work cover page in clipboard so as you can see if you these all are pages if you click on any page these are all the data elements so each data element is a pair of a property name and its value property name and its value this property py lab status pending holds the value of 0 this property py flow key holds this value these all are property and values property value pairs these all are each one is a data element so each page contains multiple data elements a page can also contains another page that is called nested page or embedded page so rh underscore run is basically the it's like the py work page or the primary page for rule forms so py work page is a primary uh, work uh, primary page for work objects rh underscore run is a primary page for rule forms property rule form validate rule form activity rule form like that so clipboard has basically four uh, all the pages in clipboard are grouped into four different categories user pages data pages linked property pages and system pages user pages are the pages which user creates in his processing the, the, these include editable pages editable data pages saveable data pages named property uh, named pages so basically user can add or edit the data can create this user pages as the name says user pages pages that are created and used by the user in his processing or activities so if you see user page contains data about the work done in the selected thread coming to data pages all read only pages come under this data pages category editable and saveable data pages come under the user pages category whereas all read only data pages come under the data pages category coming to linked property pages these are uh, read only pages created by related properties by using property reference which contain information about the data types referenced by an associated property system pages uh, include for example px thread px process operator id page so these include the pages which are created by the pega platform to identify user interface user information current session information current active application information for example depending on operator id uh, their time zone is mentioned in a property so that you can access from the system pages so if you want to reference any property value inside a page in any other rule form in designer studio then you have to declare that page name in the pages and classes tab for example earlier we have seen a py work page in the clipboard and say if you want to use some of the properties like say py labs the time or some property in any rule form then first you need to declare that page and class in the pages and classes tab 
in whatever rule form it is it can be report definition rule form it can be activity rule form data transfer rule form validation rule form whatever it is you go to the parents and class tab you give that page name here write the class definition here and now for also in the in say in property setting activities we want to use some property under PY work page then after declaring in the PS and class tab directly you can reference PY work page dot that property name otherwise if you don't use this by default whatever rule you are using the class in which that rule is created that class properties only you can access by entering the dot and pressing the down arrow so for example now say i am under this validate rule if i press clipboard as you can see there are different threads each thread corresponds to a tab in the designer studio so if you see enter payment information is one tab there are two, uh, another tab is also there so for now i will close some tabs so to avoid confusion so now there are only home tab uh, enter payment information, validate rule, and A1. So now I am going to click on clipboard. As you can see, currently I am in enter payment information thread. So these all are the properties. This is PRH underscore is like the PR page or the primary page of the rule forms. Depending on the rule form, the class will change, but page name will be same. If you are opening a validate rule, here rule obj validate will be present. Say if you are opening some flow rule and I will open the clipboard. Then also it is rh underscore one only page name, primary page, rule form page name. But the class is changed because you see the pj dynasty of a flow action rule, it is, it is derived from the class rule obj flow action. You can press shift plus f8 to get which is a shortcut to get the pj dns key so from pj dns key you can see the rule type class rule obj flow action so now i am in the work object context a-1 and press the clipboard page so as you can see that thread name is nothing but tab name which is case id in this case now if you see there is no rh underscore one instead of that py work page is there so this assistant request is a case type and whose work class structure is gogo dash gogo road dash work dash assistance request tomorrow say you are having some other case type say for example now i will create a new vendor case type and again try to open the clipboard from that case type so that clipboard will open for this n dash 1001 new vendor case type context see now it is open for this work object ready here also again pv work page will be there similar to the rules rh underscore one but the class will different Class type will be different, object type will be different, which is the new vendor case type class structure. So you can shift to other work object threads. So in this thread, this all data is present. So these are the data pages available. Again, there are three scopes of databases which we will see in future videos. These are the link, there are no linked property pages for now. These are the system pages. That is operator ID information is stored in operator ID page, organization information is stored in organization page, access group related information is stored in access group page. So again there are nested pages, embedded pages inside access group. So uh, coming to PY work page, it contains all the properties. Say for example now I am going to A-1 case and if I select something and press submit. This value will come into the clipboard. So there are also, if there are any data objects, for example, customer ID data objects, which is an embedded data object that will come under the nested pages. You can click this plus icon to see about the nested pages like this. Thank you.